This hour, the House is poised to vote on a proposed short-term budget deal, but the clock is ticking less than 48 hours to go now before Friday night's deadline. We're joined by CBS's Weijia Zhang live from Washington, D.C. to bring us the very latest. Now, first things first, Weijia, where do negotiations stand right now? How probable is a government shutdown? Well, as you mentioned, we are expecting that vote in the House momentarily, and it does look like it is going to clear, even though all day today the conservative House Freedom Caucus was threatening to vote against it, but struck a last-minute deal with Republican leaders. And so that is expected to happen in the next 10, 15 minutes or so. But then when it goes over to the Senate, it's going to be a lot trickier because it's not just a, a matter of a simple majority rule there. They need at least nine Democrats to also hop on board in order for there to be uh, a, a resolution to extend this short-term spending by uh, at least until February 16th. So that's where we are right now. And again, these last-minute negotiations are critical. And even Democrats are saying right now it's not over until it's over, but their demands right now are not in this uh, short-term measure. So there's going to be some give and take that has to happen before midnight tomorrow. Absolutely. Now our Democratic Senator John Tester very frustrated in his uh, comments to us today over the situation telling us that Congress has to stop operating what he calls a crisis by crisis basis. Do you sense that same frustration across Capitol Hill? Certainly that frustration is not unique, but it's where we are right now because if either party has leverage, they're going to use it when they have it. You know, lawmakers intended on tackling immigration first before dealing with the budget. And they were actually making progress on that. But you'll remember uh, there was a conversation that became somewhat of a distraction when during an immigration meeting, the president reportedly used an expletive to describe uh, some countries when negotiating uh, immigration. And of course, that became the headline and that became a setback. And so here we are. They were not able to get it done before the deadline came to deal with the budget. And that's why we're in a situation where Democrats are trying to weave in protection for young immigrants who were brought to the country illegally as children, of course, known as dreamers, uh, through the DACA program. And that is why we are now combining these two issues and it's becoming so difficult to strike a deal because Republicans want to keep these two issues completely separate. Okay, now funding for children's health insurance, we just talked about that, and immigration control, possible bargaining chips in this bill. Do you think they'll be part of the final deal or do you think they'll take the easy route just to get short-term funding? I don't think there is an easy route, and they have to be part of this deal if they want Democratic support in the Senate. That has been the messaging all along, that they are not going to approve this measure without protection for DREAMers. At the same time, Republicans are rejecting that. So again, someone's have to, someone has to give somewhere. Um, at this point, it doesn't look like that um, is going to be very easy, but of course, you know, 24 hours is a long time in Washington, and a lot can happen behind closed doors. Uh, but at this point, a shutdown is looking increasingly likely. But again, as I mentioned, these lawmakers are going to continue fighting until the very end. CBS's Weijia Zhang, hey, thank you so much for joining us live tonight from Washington.